I am Robert Hurt. I'm from Chatham. I want to welcome you to Hammond, Sydney. As uh, Bill Stanley stated, I uh, attended Hammond, Sydney some time ago. He was he was way ahead of me, uh, <laughs> but we did both attend Hammond, Sydney. You should know that Hammond, Sydney was founded in 1776. It was founded in 1776 because uh, in, the, in September of 1776 because. In July of 1776, this country, of course, declared its independence. At that time, there were two. There, there was only one school in Virginia, and it was at William and Mary. At William and Mary, uh, of course, in Williamsburg during the revolution, the revolution was just heating up, and there were dangers. Ham City was founded to educate young patriots in a place that wasn't ground zero for revolutionary war action. Two of the founding trustees for Ham City. Patrick Henry and James Madison. I think it's therefore fitting that we have this convention at this place and at this time because I believe, friends, that the future of this country is in peril. Amen. <laughs> Patrick Henry, son of thunder, who lit the fuse of revolution with his Stamp Act speech in 1765, James Madison, the father of our Constitution. What would they think if they came back to America 234 years later and saw what we have going on in Washington, D.C.? They would grieve for this country. This country was founded on three principles. Limited government, free markets, and individual liberty. Is that what we have, friends? Do we have limited government in Washington, D.C.? No. We have unlimited government. We have unlimited spending. We have unlimited debt, and it's totally unsustainable. Do we have free markets in this country? No. We have governments that, our government that has taken over the healthcare industry, it's taken over the auto industry, it's taken over the banking industry. I believe that Patrick Henry and James Madison would grieve to see what our free markets have become. Individual liberty. Can you, how does it feel to, to know that our government has now come into our kitchen, come into the kitchen tables all across the fifth district, all across this country, where mothers and fathers and families sit down to order their finances, and the government now comes into your kitchen and tells you, you must, by law, have health insurance. Is that individual liberty? No. Friends, Tom Perriello has voted for increased spending, unsustained spending. He's voted for unlimited government. He's voted for cap and trade. He's voted against free markets. And he's voted against our liberties. Friends, we've got to send Tom Perriello home. We are all united here for a single purpose. We are all united here for a single purpose, and that is to send Tom Perriello home. I believe that we must have the strongest candidate. We must have the strongest candidate to lead us to, de to defeat Tom Perriello on, in November. I believe that I'm that person, and let me tell you why. I know the 5th District. I grew up in the 5th District. I've been in the state legislature now for nine years. I know our issues. I know our people. If you look at my proven conservative record, you'll see a person who stood up for our individual liberties, who has stood up for the Second Amendment, who has stood up for private property rights, who understands the Tenth Amendment, who understands that business needs less taxes, less regulations, that individuals cannot prosper without fewer taxes and fewer regulations. Friends, I've been elected now five times in the last 10 years. I've always been elected with at least 62% of the vote, and, the re and, and I come from a very conservative part of the Commonwealth of Virginia. People know me, and people trust me. At the end of the day, friends, I am hopeful about this country, despite the condition that we find ourselves in currently. I am very hopeful. I believe that Americans have the sense to, to, to throw Tom Perriello out. I believe that we have the sense, we have the good sense to stand up and live up to the ideals of Patrick Henry and James Madison. I would be proud to have your support on June 8th. Thank you.